How's it going, everybody? Here goes the cat. Oh, there goes the dog. Cat's up the tree. They do not get along, to say the least. So today I have something a little different going uh, for you guys. We're gonna do a little project with the kids. Um, I'm building them a seesaw. I do want to mention real quick that Kiwi Co. is sponsoring this video, so you're gonna learn more about them in a little bit. Uh, my first thought on this was, oh, I didn't want to, have to dig holes for posts to support the seesaw. I wanted to maybe make it mobile so I can move it. And then I started thinking, I really want to make it as easy as possible. I want to make it really cool, but I want it to be an easy build. So I thought, you know what, maybe I could find like a tree I could hook it to. So here we are with these two, these two trees. I'm going to try to span that gap with some kind of support and then rig up my seesaw off of the trees. I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty unique. Uh, it should be pretty fun for the kids. So we got a game plan. I think we've, uh, we don't have it figured out, but I'll figure it out. I'm gonna head to the store, get the lumber. I think I'm gonna use 12 foot, uh, like four by four beams, like sandwich coupled together. We'll put a little saddle on them, a little handle for the kids to hold on to. And really the, the part that is just kind of like, really I'm unsure about is the connection to the tree and you know, we'll just figure that out. Here they come. do you want to make the seesaw? Red, red and blue. Red and blue? That's uh -huh. not a size. That's a color. Why? Do you want to make it a really big seesaw or a really small seesaw? Um, a really big seesaw. Are you scared of it? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Mine's okay. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to like build all this stuff in here, and then when I get it all ready, you're going to come help me put it all together, okay? Okay. I'm going to work on your seesaw in a little bit. You can come help me finish it, okay? Okay, so I start this project off by cutting my uh, 4x4s to length. I got 8 footers, so I'm keeping 2 at 8 feet and then cutting 1 in half and then using those 2 4 footers as my extension. So here I'm using my handsaw to cut a little 45 degree chamfer on the end of the 8 foot pieces. I could also do this on the table saw but or with a skill saw or circular saw but I thought it would be easiest to do uh, just with a handsaw. And then I come back with my low angle jack plane and just clean up that uh, those saw marks and make it nice and smooth. So here I'm laying out kind of you might call it a chamfer or just kind of a little taper on the end of the the seesaw the the, the saddles will actually go above where this cut is um, and i'm just going to make this cut real quick on my uh, big 36 inch uh, oliver bandsaw So now I'm laying out a little relief for my hole, which is the actual uh, to sit in. I'm using this piece of plywood as a guide for my router. So I'm just using my router on that fence to kind of work that uh, little scoop out in several passes.
So now I just gotta attach my four foot extensions onto my eight foot pieces, and I'm just using three, uh, three eighths by, I think they're five or six inch long uh, lag bolts off a washer. Um, so there's a total of 12. Welcome into my house. June, say hi. Hi. Johnny, say hi. Hi. We are in here right now to talk about uh, the sponsor for this video, KiwiCo. They design products for kids ages 2 to 16. So the projects are designed to kind of spark creativity, creative thinking, for engineering. Uh, they're really well thought out. They have different uh, designs and different crates for different kids for different ages. My daughter got a really cool little camping box where she could put together like this little camping set. A lot of fun. And my son got these uh, fish and sea creatures in it and he had a pole with a little string and some velcro and he could actually catch the fish uh, with the pole. He really enjoyed it. Even June really enjoyed it. It was a really cool game. They both also really enjoyed the books that came with these. They sent a little book and my kids love books so that was a great addition. Yummy, that's good. Thank you so much to KiwiCo for sending me very cool crates. My kids really enjoyed them. My wife really enjoyed playing with them. KiwiCo is offering the first month free. That's a $19.95 $19 value to you guys. All you gotta do is go down in my description, click, click the link, kiwico.com forward slash Andy Rawls, and go get your free month. I highly recommend it. It's a super cool product, and thanks again to KiwiCo. It comes after zero? One. One, yeah. And then after one comes two. Right. Yeah, what a seesaw is. Have you ever used one? Um, yes, I do. Very good. Uh huh. But you're working on one for me. Yeah, I'm not in buildings. It's fake. This is gonna be difficult. Come on, yeah. You do. Okay, I got it. Wow, look at that. that okay, so I really don't like the look of treated lumber, so I've got some camo paint here and we are going to paint this. June's going to help me. June, do you want to help me spray paint? I will. Let me show you how it works. Okay, first of all, I want you to stay on this side so because the, the paint's blowing that way. I don't want you breathing this. This is kind of nasty. So I'm going to show you how it works real quick, okay? Watch. You want, to, you, you want to try it one time? Um, no, thank you. Okay, okay, you don't have to do this. Okay, anymore. because my hands will get dirty. Yeah, your hands might get a little dirty. Is that black? It's called camo. Uh, do you know? Do you know what camo is? Why does it turn it into black? It looks black. It's black. Oh my! Bubble. Bubble. There's a bubble in it. Yeah, good job, bud. That's a bubble in there. You know what, June? What? I'm really not that level. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of tools here. I think that's your fault, right? Okay, so somehow with all that craziness, I managed to get this on here leveled up. I'm not worried about the front to back tilt because I'm gonna put a pole, uh, a bar on top that's gonna be uh, the point of contact. Alright, so I've got it mounted. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Pretty cool. It functions really well, but the the whole pivot axle section is going to need a little tweaking. Um, the side-to-side -side movement, there's a little wobble in it, as you can see. Those little 
straps are really not strong enough for this. Um, so I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna leave it like it is because I think it's safe. I think it's it's functional. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of work on improving that whole system. So the next step on this now is I need to get a seat made for each end so the kids can sit on it and some kind of handle for them to hold on, like a little T handle that I may make like out of some uh, gas pipe or something. All right, so there it is. It's all done. It looks really nice. Uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna have to do some improvement on the axle there. Uh, I need a little bit better attachment, but for where I'm at right now, it's really working pretty good. It can handle a little beat, beating around here. Got the handles here, I had a gas pipe for the kids to hold on to. Nice little cypress seat uh, with a good round over so it's nice and comfortable. All I need now is my kids out here to play with it, but I'm telling you, I think there's probably a 90% chance that my daughter is gonna be freaked out by this thing because it goes so high. She already told me she doesn't wanna go very high, so. Uh, my son Johnny's probably too young. He's only two. I might have to spot him, um, but we're gonna get him out here and see how it goes. I kinda wanna go on this. Do you want mommy and I show you how it works? Mm -hmm. June, come on, you gotta try this. No, I can't. Why? But I'll, I'll hold you. June, please try it. Please? Okay, Junie, what if you see so we can watch one Paw Patrol? You just bribed her with TV. Okay. Okay, that sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be seasoned. Whoa! Did you do that?